so dear students uh, after completing the architectural styles and patterns uh, discussion on these two things we need to discuss uh, some of the symptoms for uh, rotting design by rotting design we mean that uh, the, as you know as you have studied that uh, software is a logical uh, component is a logical entity and because it does not wear out but in due course of time uh, there is a uh, you can say deterioration in softwares uh, and with the reason being uh, many things can be a reason the changing requirements can be a reason or the faulty design can be a reason so in this lecture we are going to see some of the symptoms uh, that is that are responsible for uh, the rotting of uh, the design uh, there are probably four uh, symptoms that tell us that our design are rotten the design are getting rotting um, they are not orthogonal but they are related to each other so we cannot say that all these four parameters that are mentioned here like rigidity fragility immobility and viscosity they are not independent on each other but in turn they are dependent on one another so if something happens to one of the symptoms you will find the other symptom as well in your design so starting with uh, the first symptom which is known as rigidity rigidity is the tendency of a software to be difficult to change even in the simplest ways so if my design is such that i cannot change uh, easily in the, the module or the system then we say that the software is more rigid so every change causes a cascade of six subsequent changes in the in, in the dependent module so we have seen in our previous uh, classes where we had discussed about modules and we have said that if this is one module so this is a pan module so it might have a child module something like this and if we make change in this module, we sh the changes do creep in into this and this module, maybe possible, right? So every change that you create, they have a cascading uh, effect in the dependent module. Uh, what being a simple two-way change to a one module grows into a multi-week marathon of change in modules after modules as the engineer changes the thread of the change to the application so if your design is not rigid the design is rigid then that's in that case you will have find difficult to accommodate this change right second thing which is related to rigidity is called fragility uh, uh, fragility is a tendency of a software to break in many places every time you change one thing or the other so if you change one thing in your code the the effect of that code is seen by a breakage or a, by a faulty error coming up in another piece of code okay so uh, this thing happens when you have lot of lot of code and you do not know the dependencies of uh, each of the module often the breakage occurs in areas that have no conceptual relation with the area that was changed so the thing is you change a module a and the model B get affected. So you will wonder how you know, it's possible. I am not only changing a module A, but my by changing module A, module B is also uh, effect, getting affected because the reason being, you do not know that the dependencies of A and B sometimes, okay? And when there are thousands and thousands of modules in a particular software, lots of dependencies do uh, create get created in due course of time, right? And that's so. That's because uh, the most of changes been done by different developers, different software engineers in due course of time. As the fragility becomes worse, the probability of breakage increases with time, asymptotically approaching the value called one. Such software is impossible to maintain if this fragility value is going on increasing and day by day or month by month or year by year. Then uh, maintaining such a software is nearly impossible okay every time it fix every every fix makes it worse introducing more problems than it solves okay. so 
So these are the two uh, first or uh, two parameters or first two symptoms uh, looking into which we can say that our design is getting bad each day or it is getting worse each day. The third is immobility. Now immobility is an interesting uh, symptom. It says that uh, every engineer uh, when we try to code, when we try to create modules, we create modules because of one basic reason right we want to emphasize on uh, reuse of the code right we don't want to spend time inventing the wheel we don't want to spend time creating the same work uh, workflow again or same module again every time so we generally believe that something has been created uh, by someone we should just use this in our own code okay this is uh, this is what you can say reuse component, reuse of a software component. Immobility is an inability to reuse software uh, from other projects or from parts of the same project. If I have the same project or have some other project, I cannot use that particular code. This is called immobility. Uh, why it happens? It happens that uh, generally an engineer will discover that he needs a module that is similar to one that the other engineer wrote. Right? This is the need of the engineer but after analyzing what he needs he find that okay this is a module x that i need and this x has been developed by someone else so i can just import that x in my code and I, my code should work but it often happens that the module in question has too much baggage that it depends on that means that module that you are referring to in, in turn has lot of lot of dependencies and that too uh, tightly coupled dependencies in that case if you want that module into your code in model x in your code then you either you have to take all the dependencies that he the model needs or you have to decouple that module with the dependency and if the module is tightly coupled as we had discussed while you know, discussing in cohesion and coupling, this decoupling is extremely difficult job and it will break the module. So after much work, the engineer discovered that the work and risk required to separate the desirable part of the software from the undesirable part is too great to tolerate. And finally, the engineer decides to write the code instead of uh, taking the code from someone else. So this is the issue that when we create a module and the dependency grows then it is uh, nearly impossible to reuse next time the last one is viscosity okay the viscosity uh, comes in two forms uh, one is viscosity of design and viscosity of environment viscosity general means generally it means that you have seen this word or you have uh, gone to you have this I studied this word uh, in your initial classes somewhere it is the resistance to the flow okay the more viscous a particular liquid is lesser it flows so likewise if the viscosity of the design is high that means uh, you are having certain problems and if the viscosity of environment is high that means the environment is not working properly and so now we'll discuss what do you mean when uh, when faced with a change okay engineers usually find more than one way of to make the change okay uh, this is what it means that if i have a problem i should have two or more solution to the same problem might be possible that a one solution won't, uh, won't work so i will go for the second option right so um, in some cases uh, these solutions preserves the design uh, others do not okay in one of the case, it preserves the design that you go through the design, uh, design and procedural way and update the data or resolve the problem. In many cases, uh, your solution is such that the design has certain certain constraint, and because of uh, that constraint, your your solution cannot be implemented. Okay. Now, in that case, you because the client is waiting for uh, the solution, what you do is you take an approach which is not optimal. Okay, which is not correct which is not uh, up as per the design but it solves the problem like hard coding of your content in the you're manually pushing a query into the database you take these type of uh, help so when the design preserving methods are harder to employ than the hacks okay 
It are, the, the preserving method is much more costly or much more difficult than the simpler hacks. We say that the design, uh, viscosity of design is very high. So it is easy to do wrong thing, but hard to do the right thing. This is what it generally means. That means like filing a query and updating the database with the help of query and updating a database through certain uh, method, proper method is diff difficult. Okay. So you can make changes in the hard coding in the code and you show what the customer wants. You do this, but actually through a process you want to do the change, the changes are really constrained. The second thing is uh, viscosity of environment means your environment itself is uh, very slow and inefficient. Okay, like it has, we have two examples here. If the compile time are very long, engineers will be tempted to make changes that don't force a uh, large recompiles. So even though those changes are not optimal from the design point of view. So if you say that I will choose, I will try to write small codes, I will try simple codes because I don't want to go all in their compile time. Okay, you, so you, you will generally uh, find non-optimal codes uh, design uh, from the non-optimality from the point of view of the design. The second thing, if the uh, source code control system, which is the inventory control system or the data store, okay, uh, requires hours check in in a few just a few files. The check in here generally means when you try to push data into a data store is known as check in. When you put out pull out the data from the data store is called as check out. Okay, so if the source code uh, source uh, source code control system requires a long lengthier hours for this checking, what I will do is the engineers will make changes that require few check-ins only okay so i will try to push only fewer files i will not move lengthier files i will touch to certain important files and those i which i feel is unimportant i will not push it so regardless whether the design is preserved or not i will try to accommodate accommodate whatever i can do okay so in all such cases we can say that the viscosity of the environment is very high so all these four uh, symptoms, the rigidity, fragility, immobility, and viscosity actually tells you that your design is, uh, is actually uh, like depreciated or not depreciated, um, what you can say. Design is really uh, bad and it will be uh, in future, the, the software will not be able to meet the required results, required outputs. Okay. So in the next classes, we will be discussing about uh, the interface designs, the user interface designs, and finally wind up the unit. Thank you very much.